Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Maria and today we're going to be doing this very simple eye look using one NYX pencil and one eyeshadow. Ah, well that's kind of a lie. I do a little bit of a highlight up here and then use my Illuminizer in the corners. But essentially it's a super easy look to replicate and yeah, let's get started. Now for sake of time, I've done my base, so I've put on my foundation, done the concealing, uh, put on uh, contour. Uh, I didn't contour my nose. Hmm, I don't think I will today. Um, I did a little bit of bronzer, which I normally don't do, but I thought I'd do it because we're going for kind of a coppery, glowy, uh, yeah, that kind of look. So I put a little bit of bronzer on um, and, uh, and powdered my face, so I'm all ready to go. Uh, with the eye look. I uh, did my eyebrows too. So what we're going to start with is this NYX Jumbo Pencil in French Fry. That's right, French Fry. I'm not sure why they use food names. There's this one Jumbo Pencil in NYX and it's kind of a silvery white color and they call it cottage cheese. <laughs> like it's just, it's disgusting. Cottage cheese is hopefully not shimmery. Like, why couldn't they have picked, like, Moonlit Glow or something, but no cottage cheese. So this is French fry. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put it all over the lid. Just kind of right up to that crease. And as you can see, I wasn't good at coloring as a kid. Uh, and I'm sorry for fingering you. I, I always use my middle finger. My dad does that too. Anyway, so, um, anyway. Uh, it doesn't have to look beautiful, just kind of cover your eye with it. And then we're going to go in, if I can find my brush, with this not so little fluffy brush and we're going to just blend it out into the crease just to kind of smooth out that edge. Now the reason for putting this base on, it's going to help our eyeshadow last all day so it kind of works like a primer. Uh, because as you saw, I didn't put a primer on today. So you just kind of blend out the edges. Super simple. And then uh, we're going to go in with one other shade, which is another bronzy shade. So it's just basically putting the bronzy shade over top. And then we'll go in and, and do the same thing to the lower lash line. I'm going to use this NYX palette. Now you can get this, um, where I got it was London Drugs. It's a pretty, pretty cool palette. Lots of different shades. They are pretty decent shadows uh, and nice color range. So if you're into doing the natural, like a natural type eye, you've got lots of options here. Uh, and this, um, I think it retails in Canada for $24.99, uh, but I got it on sale at London Drugs for $14.99. So what we're going to do now, ah, we're just gonna use this brush again. I'm going to go into this bronzy shade right here. Can you see it? Whoa. That one right there. <laughs> and I'm going to, again, apply this all over the lid. And then take it up into the crease. And now I'm going to go back in with that NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line. And then again, I'm just going to blend it out with this big brush. So that's it so far. Super simple. Now I'm just going to go in with, uh, I'm going to mix in this NYX palette the white and that cream. I'm just going to mix them together with a clean brush. And I'm just going to do up by my eyebrow and bring it down just to kind of blend it all together. Now, you could just leave it like this and then put mascara on. I'm going to darken up the lower lash line a little bit with just a dark brown, uh, like a darker brown uh, eyeliner. This one is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Bronze. And I'm gonna go to, oh, nice. Gonna just wipe it off. 
you know, there's nothing like having kind of a a big brow spot on your nose. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna fix that. I think that we should call this channel Makeup Mishaps with Maria <laughs> because we have so many of them. Anyway, okay, so all I did was wipe it off and then put a little bit more concealer on. I don't think you can see that it happened. And once again, just as you can see, this is still red. That's from my accident. Nothing I can do about that right now. So just went and darkened this up to kind of like uh, the inner two thirds. So I wanna leave this little space in here open. Okay, and I'm also gonna take this liner just up on the, the top line, really kind of pushing it just into the lash line. I don't want it to be super noticeable. I just want to darken it up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two eyes, but it just darkens that lash line up just a tad. What you could also do with this look is you could go in with a black and line your waterline with black, do, do it on the upper waterline and give yourself a more dark, dramatic look. That would be awesome. Today I want to keep it lighter, so I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize in uh, Flesh, or what is it called? In Nude. And um, just put that on the water lo lower waterline. So this is what I've got so far. Um, now you could just leave it like this and I think that would be totally fine. But I'm actually going to add some lashes. So I take the lash, I apply the glue, just like so. And then I take it and I just set it as close to the lash line as I can get. Whoa. That one's stuck to my thumb. And then I take this tweezer, place it down, and then take that, place it as close to my lash line as possible, and voila, done. That one always seems to go better. Now, they don't ever look exactly the same on both my eyes because this left eye is droopy. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Now, even though I'm going for a kind of a bronzy, smoky looking eye, I don't want to uh, completely make this a bronze look. I want to keep it kind of springy and kind of soft. So I'm going in with this Mary Kay Mineral Oh my goodness. Guys, you should see my shirt. I'm covered in blush. Look at that. Oh. Okay, so I'm just blaming all these whacked out things happening today on the fact that I still have a bit of a concussion. <laughs> anyway, this is the blush and I think it's a beautiful color. It's got a bit of gold shimmer in it and it's kind of like a soft, it's called Strawberry Cream Mary Kay. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a really soft, uh, I don't know. It, strawberry cream, the name really suits it. How's that? Okay, so I'm just gonna place that on the apples of my cheeks, go back a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. We're gonna use Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And it's just a real gold, scared to hold anything up, gold shade. Again, you're putting your highlighter just kind of on the tops. You can go on your cheek a little bit if you want. Okay, the one thing that you don't want to do is go up too high on your eye area. So it's easy to kind of go a little crazy and put it up kind of closer to here. And if you've got mature skin at all, like I do, 45, um, you've got, I've got a lot of little fine lines here. So as soon as you get that highlighter up 
past here up, up into here which I think even like a, a 20 30 year old could do that and it would be fine it just accentuates the fine lines so I try to keep it just below that I put a bit of it on my forehead as usual I also do the tip now this stuff it's really really potent so I use this small stippling brush again with the lighter fibers and you can even just use the edge of it so going into the product like that kind of tap it off it's amazing the excess and then I'll actually just use the the product that's on the mirror if that makes sense so I take that and go down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin so I'm really excited my friend my very good friend she gave me these lip liners and um, they're they're really really good lip liners I love them and they're retractable so you don't have to sharpen and they're by Evelyn Charles and Evelyn Charles started um, her business uh, it's a hair salon um, in Edmonton Alberta Canada and so I kind of have a special place in my heart for anything Evelyn Charles just because it originated in Edmonton and being an Edmonton uh, being an Edmontonian um, I appreciate that so I zoomed in a little bit closer because I realized as I was doing this that my lip was completely out of the camera <laughs> it's a gong show today people a total gong show Now nine times out of 10, I'm gonna wear lip liner simply because um, I have these teeny weeny lips on top. So they go on top and then they kind of come down and I don't have any kind of down here. So I usually extend my lip liner just a little bit just to give me a bit more of a top lip. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the NYX Retractable in Rose Beige. Then I'm going to use my Elizabeth Arden Rose, it's a cream li lipstick in Rose, number 17, looks like that. And then I'm going to use a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, the number, or er, lipstick, lip gloss, the number on it is 245 and I think it says Pango Peach, but I think I need bifocals, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. It's kind of a peachy color, but on top of the pink, it just kind of gives that strawberry, strawberry cream look. And again, I wanted to go with kind of a pinky, bronzy look today because we're kind of getting into spring, which super excites me. So I'm going to get my hair down and uh, yeah, hopefully clean the makeup off of my shirt, make sure it's completely clean, and then I'll be back for a final look. So this is the final look. Even though there were quite a few mishaps, I think it turned out good, I like it. Um, the eye look, uh, two shadows, uh, and then like the top color, but super, super easy, easy to replicate. Uh, replicate, yeah, that's the word. Um, super easy to do. The products are cheap to come by. Uh, easy to find NYX products in Canada. London Drugs has them. There's a few other places, but London Drug seems to have the biggest supply and they're really affordable. So anyway, uh, that's, that's, I guess, it for today. Hope you have an amazing day. It's a beautiful kind of spring day here, which I'm very excited about, even though it's only the middle of March. So thank you so much for watching. Again, please feel free to subscribe or like the video, tell your friends, whatever, and come join me soon again and have a great week. Thanks. very easily replicable repl blah, 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 blah. <laughs> replicable it's very easily <laughs> replicable Re <laughs> replicable yeah replicable replicable <laughs> so again i all i used were two shadows <laughs> oh jesus help me Okay, let's get through this.
called real life, people. This is what happens in real life. 